in Idaho on Star Chaser Ranch. We'd like to give you a nice warm country welcome. Welcome to Agland. Idaho. Since 1981, Idaho lawmakers have seen the right to farm as a natural right. In 2011, an amendment was added to include farm facilities and the expansion of farms. Idaho's right to farm law defines agricultural facilities, including without limitation, any buildings, structures, machinery and equipment that is used in ag operations. Agricultural operations are defined as being any activity or condition that occurs in connection with production of ag products, i.e. food, the planting, irrigating, growing, fertilizing, breeding, hatching, and raising of livestock, poultry, eggs, and fish. The byproducts of livestock such as waste, compost, and any other byproducts such as noise, odor, dust, fumes. So the whole point of these right to farm laws is to prevent city slickers from encroaching into the country demanding farmers live the city lifestyle. Farmers are the heart of this country. Farmers are necessary for everything that you eat, whether it be animal feed for your animals that you then eat, or the foods that are harvested in the field. Whether you're a big time farmer and you have hundreds of acres, or you're a small scale farmer like I am and only farm one acre. Our lawmakers, in an effort to protect farmland and keep agricultural operations going, because well, frankly, we need them. They feed us, they provide us with everything our animals need to eat. And so we absolutely need to take every effort in protecting ag land and keeping ag land in production. We live out in the country and our entire area is zoned agriculture by our county. And yet we have city slickers who complain about it. We have city slickers complaining about tractors on the roadway because they go slow. We have people complaining about the crop duster <laughs> doing his job in the evening. You know, when they're trying to relax on their patio and listen to the quiet of the country, here's this crop duster helping the farmer provide food. We live about three miles from one of Idaho's largest dairies and we have people who complain about the smell of the dairy. And, and you gotta wonder, why did you move to the country? If you don't like the smell of dairies, if you don't like the smell of cattle, if you don't like agricultural operations, why are you in the country? You need food, we need food, and everybody else needs food. So if you like to eat, Definitely 
definitely thank a farmer.